Omar Yagi has an incredible life story. We which we talked about a bit on Sunday. Yeah. It's uh he um he was a Palestinian re refugee in Jordan, okay, with his family, like very poor. They the, the entire family lived in a single room, but he got really into chemistry at the age of 10. Um he came to the States for higher studies, got his PhD at University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign, and then he started really getting into um these Metal organic, organic frameworks. frameworks. Okay, he was like, this, this, this could be something, right? He got really interested in that. And at Arizona State University, that was his first um, faculty appointment. That's when he publishes this 2D molecule that can hold stuff, and it can remain stable up to 350 degrees Celsius. Oh, you wow. can heat it this thing up, up, and it can still hold its stuff, and and not get completely degraded. Right. He published that in Nature. Yes. Okay. So this was the first sort of big, big thing, right? It's he starts, he starts making a name for himself, and um, in 1999, he publishes the big one. Okay, <laughs> the this is big the big, one. This is the, this is the sort of classic example of metal organic, organic frameworks, frameworks. okay? Um, and there's, there's posters of this in every chemistry department. Okay. Okay, this is called MOF5, Metal Organic Framework 5, and this thing was insane. This thing was like <laughs> 3,000 meters squared of surface area per gram. He published those two papers in Nature and Science, and those are basically the papers that won the Nobel Prize. Got it. Okay? And um, so he started out at University of Arizona. Yes. And then he moved, actually, to UCLA, because by this point, I think everyone knew he was going to win. Yeah, right, 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 right. The Nobel. Okay? Right, right. So that's how he got to California. Yeah, he was, he was in the chemistry department at UCLA. Yes. And then in 2012, yes. Berkeley was like, offered him a, you know, an of offer course, he can't of refuse. Course, of course, Because Berkeley was like, <laughs> Was like okay, he's definitely winning by right, now. Right, <laughs> and 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 we want we want that plus one. One hundred percent. You said the little brother of Berkeley. In yeah, this context. exactly. Yeah. So so it's like okay, now I'm gonna keep that one. <laughs> he became the director of the molecular foundry at the Lawrence Berkeley National Lab, co-director of the Kavli Energy Nanosciences Institute, and just in 2025, earlier this year, he became the a university professor, which is the top honor in the University of California, mm. reserved for like the highest. Mm -hmm. Um, distinction. Well, good. So, so that's why it was like kind of easy to predict. Predict that it was going to be him because yeah. the, the signals were there.